Hey everybody, my name is Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Welcome to my home of cars and guitars. This guitar right here, this is a 1959 Fender Stratocaster. It's a hard tail, three tone sunburst. Um, the only modifications to this guitar uh, are the graphite saddles, which I put on all my guitars, including uh, both my vintage and my new uh, signature series guitars. Um, and that's it, and the jumbo frets. Uh, but these are the original stock pickups, stock pick guard, volume knobs, pots, everything. Uh, but it's a cool sounding uh, instrument because uh, it doesn't have the tremolo, so it's uh, the strings pass straight through the body, which gives it a little bit more sustain and a little more ring to it. I actually have a 1958 Strat that looks identical to this one that I got when I was doing a tour with Van Halen. Um, and I like that guitar so much that when I had the opportunity to buy the 59, I jumped right on it. This guitar right here is a custom guitar from the Fender Custom Shop that was built by J.W. Black uh, when he worked there. Uh, you can see here it says KWS 97. He gave it to me in 1997 for my birthday. It also says KWS 97 on the headstock there. Um, has a beautiful bird's eye maple neck on the back with a rosewood slab fingerboard. And it has this experimental finish on it. Uh, that I don't think ever went into production. Uh, they were experimenting with the Relic technology and they had this finish that uh, almost immediately started this checking that you see here on the finish, which was to accelerate the aging process so that um, I would actually, just by playing the, gu the guitar, would relic it naturally rather than them relicking it. So all of this wear that you see is, uh, is from me playing it. Um, and uh, it's a really fantastic guitar. It's got some interesting options. It's got a left-handed tremolo on it. And it has the jumbo frets. And it also has these staggered tuners here, which kind of helps it stay in tune when you decide to use the tremolo. But it's certainly one of my favorite guitars.